Hello, people. How are you doing today? Ew. Ooh, that's dirty. Ford Focus and Fiesta dual clutch automatic transmission DPS 6 power shift. Clutch position sensor fault codes. The purpose of this video of mine is to explain what in the world that means. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I've got a whole bunch of videos on this transmission in a playlist, so if you want a Focus or Fiesta, this channel's for you. Anyway, continuing on. Okay, so this, uh, there are two of these actuators on your transmission. One's right here. There's going to be another one that's splined into the upper clutch actuator here. There's two actuators. There's two separate clutches in this, just so you know. I've got a video on how this transmission works. I'll link it below if you're not sure. I would watch that first. Okay, but um, there's two actuator motors here that are splined into the clutch forks. They have, inside the actuators, there are encoder rings. I, I believe that's an encoder ring. And, of course, the three-phase DC motor. The, uh, this picks up the position of the actuator, sends it through the harness to the TCM. The TCM will use that information to know the position of the clutch. Once again, the actuator does spline into here, as you can see. From past experience, whenever there's a clutch position sensor fault code, it usually ends up being a bad actuator. I'll link my video below as well for how to replace the actuators. If you have other codes present as well, such as clutch stuck applied, it can still just be this, uh, one of the actuators. However, I recommend doing a clutch fork test as well. I'll uh, link a video on how to do that below as well. Okay, if you want to diagnose whether or not it's your actuator or not, let's say you have a clutch B uh, position sensor circuit fault code. Let's say this is your uh, clutch B actuator, which is on the bottom of the car. You can take this off, take the four bolts off, uh, swap it, put it onto the upper actuator position. Let's set that down there. And then after you put that on there, you'll take the actuator that was on the top, come down to the bottom of the car, and put it there. So you're just swapping the actuators. Clear the codes out, drive the car, uh, wait until the issue starts acting up again and the check engine light comes on. I'm sorry about the mess. Check the code. If the same code comes back, then you know it's not the actuator. At that point, you can go ahead with the air box out of the engine. I'm going to put a picture up here on the screen. There's a couple of grounds underneath the air box. Make sure that they are not loose. Make sure they're in good condition, tight and clean, not corroded. I've seen it where a loose ground under the air box can cause this issue. If, however, that ground is tight and clean, and you swap the actuators and the code did not change, if the code does change to the opposite clutch, then you know the actuator is bad. But, um, all right, so you swap the actuators, the code did not change, the grounds are in good condition, you have two suspects left. Once again, do a clutch fork test. Make sure the clutch is, fork is not seizing up. That could possibly set the code, but I doubt it. But if the clutch fork is seized, uh, fix that first. Anyway, two more likely culprits here. Actually, one uh, likely culprit, the TCM itself. However, uh, visually inspect the harness from the TCM to the actuator. Pretty straightforward there. Look for any obvious damage where mice have eaten into the conduit. Okay. Uh, no obvious damage here. No uh, fluid or anything inside the pins on the connector. No damage to the actuator itself or the pins inside of there. No damage externally to the TCM connector. Nothing obvious here. No damage. And likewise here. Therefore, if you swap the actuators, the ground's in good condition, everything's staying the same, the issues aren't changing from swapping those, then I suspect this is your issue. TCM, Transmission Control Module. If you want to make a replacement of the control module easier, you can get a TCM that already has the same calibration in it for your car. So if you have a 2012 through 2014 Ford Focus or Fiesta, then get a 2012 through 2014 TCM. Go to the junkyard and get one out of that year model Focus or Fiesta because that'll already have the calibration preloaded that you need. And all you'll have to do after replacement is the touch point learn for the clutch. If you have a 2015 through 2018 Focus, likewise, just get one off of a similar year model and do a clutch touch point learn afterwards. Now, any TCM will work, but depending... Um, if you get one from a 16 model and want to put it in your 12 model, you'll have to have it programmed 
with the calibration. But yeah, any TCM will work. They're all the same part number. They just have different calibrations. I've got all sorts of videos about uh, the TCM, so check out, that, check out that playlist if you want to. K05 level TCMs, which that's what this one is right here. See the K05? That means that TCM was uh, built and uh, programmed into a 2015 through 2018 Focuser Fiesta from the factory, so you know it has the latest and greatest hardware in it. Ford redesigned the TCMs at about that time frame, so if there's one that says K05 right there, you know this is built with the improved internals. There used to be all sorts of problem with these prior to 2016 or so. I won't go on too much more of a tangent on that. Like I said, check the video playlist if you have any more questions about that. Okay. But yeah, just a basic over here, uh, overview here. Just go over it again. If you have a clutch position sensor fault code, it's usually a bad actuator. I would replace them both at the same time and get OEM actuators only. I'll put a link below for that in the description. If you want to make sure, swap the actuators top to bottom, clear codes and see if the same code comes back or if it switches from, for example, a clutch A position sensor circuit to a clutch B position sensor circuit, then you know the actuator's bad because that's the only thing that's changed. That's what's moved. But if that doesn't change, then uh, pull the air box out and look at the grounds under the air box. Make sure they're tight and not dirty. And uh, if they're not, visually inspect the harness and replace the TCM if the harness is not eaten up by a mouse or something like that. Pretty straightforward there. And also I recommend doing a clutch fork test on whatever clutch is, uh, whatever code you're getting. Like if it's a clutch A position sensor circuit, do a clutch fork test on that fork. and. Uh, if you have other codes like the clutch a stuck applied at obviously anytime you get that code do a fork test but yeah that that sums it up you guys have a great day i sure do hope this video helps and as usual if you have any questions let me know below i also have a facebook and discord group and we're happy to help you there have yourselves a great day good luck to you and uh yeah this is the inside of one of these actuators see Yeah, that was fun. Bye-bye. Okay.